so dear students now i have taken set 3 that means set 3 means actually theorem uh, third set of theorems third set of theorems in this set of theorems you can see here uh, the theory uh, this uh, the function is the inverse trigonometric function of a reciprocal numbers reciprocal numbers means x is a number which is lying between uh, lying in the it is a real number but it is greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to minus 1 for that real number the reciprocal of that real number sine inverse of that real number is what uh, cosec inverse x sine inverse of reciprocal of 1 by uh, reciprocal of x means sine inverse 1 by x is equal to cosec inverse x the cos, cos inverse 1 by x is sec inverse x and uh, say, uh, that is also uh, where x lies between uh, it is a real number x is greater than or equal to 1 or x is less than or equal to minus 1 and tan inverse of 1 by x is also equal to cot inverse x where x is greater than 0 let us give the proof of this so first one i am taking proof of the first one hmm? sin inverse 1 by x sin inverse 1 by x hmm? sin inverse 1 by x we have to show it as equal to uh, what called uh, cosec inverse x take sin inverse 1 by x as suppose theta suppose the output will be theta because theta is suppose here and x is here no it's reciprocal you are doing so uh, then sin inverse sin inverse of 1 by x whatever it will give us that will be theta from here okay no so sin inverse 1 by x is equal to theta so now if it is theta just you think if sin inverse is sin inverse of this reciprocal of this number giving you theta then is sin of this number sin of this number will give you reciprocal of this number sin that means sin of theta will give us 1 by x yes or no the output should be 1 by x because 1 by x is input output is theta and then if this is input then output should be 1 by x because we are talking about 1 1 and onto function so 1 1 relation so sin inverse 1 by x is equal to theta then sin theta must be equal to 1 by x or from here x is equal to taking x in this side 1 by sin theta and 1 by sin theta is nothing but cosec theta got the idea so cosec theta is equal to x that means no then if x cosec theta gives x that means cosec inverse cosec inverse x if this becomes input then for cosec inverse if this is input then the output should be equal to theta and theta is nothing but sin inverse 1 by x because theta is equal to as we suppose now we have suppose that sin inverse 1 by x as theta so now this theta can be substituted now by writing sin inverse 1 by x so what you got lastly sin inverse 1 by x is equal to cosec inverse x hence proved got the idea students so go through the explanation once again pause the video and watch uh, once again so as you get stuck just you pause it and then again it reading as i said just you can repeat the whole thing once again you go through the whole thing then you will understand it will not take much time thank you now similarly we can prove this one also cos cos inverse 1 by x suppose cos inverse 1 by x be equal to theta then for cos inverse 1 by x it is theta that is cos of theta will give us 1 by x then changing the sides of the terms x comes here cos theta goes there so 1 by cos theta will get and 1 by cos theta is what sec theta so uh, 1 by cos theta is equal to sec theta so from here what you get x equal to sec theta that means sec inverse if you take this as input now sec inverse x will give you the output theta and theta is nothing but what cos inverse 1 by x so this is cos inverse 1 by x that is equal to sec inverse x sec inverse x this theta is replaced now by this line so this is the proof similarly you can prove the the other result also similarly you can show that tan inverse 1 by x tan inverse 1 by x will become cot inverse x okay you can give the proof proof is 
proof is left proof for students students left for students proof is left for proof left for students left for students please see.